Today we're going to be taking a look at the Weld Plus custom dual head lathe. When you first start up the system, you'll be presented with the splash screen, the Weld Plus logo. Tapping launch will launch us into the setup screen. This system is set up for three screen operation. We have the setup screen here, a calibration screen, and a couple of different operate screens depending on which number of passes you select. Start with an explanation of the operation screens. For each pass, you have a configurable travel speed, and that's read in inches per minute. You have the ability to turn oscillation on and off, and you have the ability to select between the left, right, or both torches to be dropped. And again, that's configurable for each pass. On the bottom left, you're going to have the travel start delay and that's measured in seconds. And on the bottom right, an overlap time at the end of the weld sequence. All of these numeric boxes can be controlled with the knob in the bottom left of the panel after selecting the arrow next to the box that you want to control. Jumping back into setup mode, I'll quickly go through the screen for three pass operation very similar to the two pass and we also have a single pass operation that looks like this. Back on the setup screen we've got a variety of different controls that you'll use to configure parameters between welding sequences. We have jog buttons, forward and reverse. Pressing and holding once on each of these buttons will jog the lathe at the speed specified in this box, and tapping twice and holding will jog the lathe in a rapid mode, either forward or reverse. In the top left corner of the screen we have a home button, which is going to appear blue when the lathe is not at the home position, and it will be flashing blue and green during a homing sequence. Once the lathe reaches the home position, the homing button will turn green and the, the lathe will be ready to operate. Now if the lathe is not at home and you start a homing sequence, you can always cancel it by tapping again on that button. Holding the home button in for more than one second will configure a new home position for the lathe. Moving down the screen, we have a box that will select rotation direction, either forward or reverse, and that only occurs during the weld cycle. The jogging buttons are independent of this box. Over on the right, we have a weld on-off button. When turned off, this will allow you to do a dry run, and when turned on, the arcs will be struck upon pressing the start sequence button. Back on the left side, we have auto pipe support on and off. The pipe support will always automatically be dropped at the beginning of a sequence, but depending on whether you have the auto pipe support turned on or not, the pipe support will raise itself at the end of a sequence if it's turned on, and will stay put if it's turned off. Same thing with the auto tailstock. If it's turned off, the tailstock will remain in the out position. But if auto tailstock is turned on, at the beginning of a weld sequence, the tailstock will move inward, and when the weld is finished, it will retra retract to its home position. Pipe support up and down gives you manual control of the pipe support, and tailstock in and out does the same for the tailstock. Finally, we have torch one up and down, and torch two up and down which will give manual control of the position of the torches. None of these manual controls need to be pressed before a weld sequence starts because the welding sequence will take care of that automatically. So now we're going to jump over to the calibration screen. 
On the calibration screen, we set the parameters for the motor RPM, gear reducer ratio, and the pulley diameters. These will not need to be changed at any point unless the machinery is modified in some way. I'm going to home the lathe one more time, and we'll jump into a dry run of a two-pass welding sequence. In the first pass, we'll turn the oscillator off, and we'll have a higher inches per minute travel speed. On the second, second pass, we'll have a slightly lower inches per minute travel speed with oscillation.